Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have a huge and an exciting announcement for you all today. But first I want to share with you all my book mail that I received in the mail. So please stay tuned. And I'm back. So like I said, I have a huge announcement that I want to announce to you all. Um, but first, I, like I said, I want to share with you all of my book mail uh, and some bookish mail that I received first. Um, so you have to wait till the end for the huge and exciting announcement. Um, so the first thing is um, a package from um, Amazon. And so the first thing that I had ordered was um, Shuri, this is the second comic of the other book that I have read um, this month in March. And I had did my wrap up, my mid month wrap up, without, which I'll leave up above so you get a chance to watch that movie, uh, not movie, but watch that video after this one. Um, so this is following pretty much the second one. It's like I said, it's Shuri. It's by Nettie um, Akorfor and Vita Ayala. And it's illustrated by Rachel Scott or Stott and Paul Davidson. And this is 24 7, 24 7 Vibranium. So yeah, I loved the first book so much. I wanted to continue on and keep reading more, you know, about Shuri and everything like this. And I just been getting, I've been getting involved with more of reading more comics, which I wanted to include in my book on oh, my booktube channel because I feel like comics are great and I need to read those too. So yeah, so I'm really loving comics. Um, so for this book, it says Shuri faces her destiny with uh, Chichala gone and Wakanda in peril. The Black Panther is needed and Shuri must step up to fill the void, but she's about to face a threat unlike any um, like any her home has seen before. Shuri heads to America to investigate a lead, but she's not the only hero on the case. With New York City and New Jersey in danger as well, there's one, there's no way Miles, Spider-Man Morales, and Kamala, Miss Marvel, Khan, are sitting this one out. And with her people in peril, Shuri takes up the Black Panther mantle once again. But this is a panther you've never seen before. One who will change Wakanda forever. Prepare for a high-tech, star-studded adventure as only Shuri can serve up. So yeah, that's what it says. And look on the back. It looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, so if you want to know more about this, um, like I said, I had to go to um, my video, which I'll leave up above again. Um, so you can look at the wrap up and you decide if you want to get into this comic of Shuri. Um, but this is what the first book looked like right here, the first comic. So yeah, and then just look at this artwork. I just love it. Like, I don't know why I haven't like gotten to comics, but I'm glad that I am because the graphics is just stunning and it's beautiful so yeah so I had gotten this in the mail next book I had ordered because um from Cordy Corey's current corner off of Instagram um she pretty much pretty much influenced me on getting this book and I really do love Corey she's amazing I love it she's just an amazing person and so I have went and gone ahead and got the songbook <laughs> of Benny Lament by Amy Harmon um and this cover first off is amazing and it is it's it speaks to me <laughs> and just she looks beautiful and gorgeous um so let me read the synopsis for this book as well this is like a romance so yes gotta ha gotta have some romance right um so it says their music will change the world new york 1960s or 1960 for benny lament music is his entire life with his father's deep ties to the mob, the Bronx piano man has learned that love and family can get you in trouble. So he keeps to himself, writing songs for other musicians, avoiding the spotlight until the night his father brings him to see Esther, um, Esther Mindsing. Esther is a petite powerhouse with a gorgeous voice. And when Benny writes a hit song and performs it with her, their collaboration thrusts the duo onto the national stage and stirs up old issues and new scrutiny that the mob and Benny would rather avoid. It would be easier to walk away, but the music and the woman are too hard for the piano man to resist. Benny's songs and Esther's vocals are an explosive combination, a sound that fans can't get enough of. But though America might love the music they make together, some people aren't ready for Benny and Lament, for Benny Lament and Esther Mine on or off the stage. <sighs> so this sounds like a deep book. And from what I've seen Corey on her Instagram and 
uh, how she just really enthralled with this book. She was a very emotional with this book. She showed her passion of how book how good this book is. Um, so I definitely want to read it and find out more about or learn more about Benny Lamont and Esther Mine. So this definitely is going to probably be a book that I will be reading in April. So but you got to stay tuned for you know, my currently reading type of deal for my video for that because I'm no longer doing TBRs. Um, so yeah, so I have this book. Um, then I have this package right here, which I believe this is from Etsy. I had ordered this because I'm pretty much in love with it. <laughs> with this TV series. Of course, it's adaptation from a book, of course. And it's this right here. I had gotten this cover. It's by uh, Book Sacks. Um, and I pre-ordered this. This is about the Bridgerton series you know and the first so we're having a second season is coming you guys if you haven't if you don't know which I do believe you do I was like I watch Bridgerton all the time I've watched it I don't know like countless times watching it and so like I gotten this because I loved it and then I read the book itself and I love the book so I'm like okay I'm just gonna keep reading this but I feel like with the books I'm probably gonna read the book um after the second season um is you know after I watch the second season I'm gonna read the book like I did the first book um so I will do a reading vlog for the second book as well which I believe is for Anthony who is the oldest of the British and children um but yeah so whew, you just got all of the beautiful characters you got Daphne um oh my goodness you just got everybody it says the brighter a lady shines, the faster she may burn. Of course, that was said by Miss Whistledown. Um, and then from Simon, I burn for you on there. And one says, we shall do what women do. We, it says, we shall do what women do. We shall talk. Uh, and then it says, I'm yours, Daphne. I have always been yours. Oh, I just love all these little sayings. Um, it has, it is, it is more than just your honor at stake. Um, and then one, it says Anthony and Benedict, Colin, Daphne, Eloise, Francesca, uh, and Gregory and Hyacinth. Oh, these are all the, like all the British and children as well. It says all is fair in love and war. Love, your grace conquers all. So yeah, so I had to get this. I had to get the book sleeve. It's beautiful. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. But yeah, so this is where when I read, start reading the other uh, books, of, you know, from Miss Julia Quinn, I'll be using this book sleeve specifically for that purpose. <laughs> so yeah, I had pre-ordered this and I'm so excited to use this. So I got that. Next thing I see is from Amazon. I think this is, okay. So I'll, I have seen this book all over booktube and I'm like, I need to read this. Like it's, I believe it's science fiction, um, but I wanted to know more about this world myself and I feel like this would be this would be a great way to get into science fiction. I haven't read any science fiction books in quite in a while and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I have gotten Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Um, even on the blurb it says, Roanhorse is the epic voice of our continent and time. So we have that. So from what I've seen, it's like, a like I said, it's a sci-fi and a sci-fi book, but I wanted to get more into this um, just because it's, it's a I've heard a lot of great things about this book and the cover is beautiful and then if you take the dust jacket off it's just black with um like gold foiling and then it also has a map right here it says the meridian so you have the crescent sea lost moth kukala uh teak territory tavashe and tova hakaya brock um you have obregi mountains halka so this is beautiful. I love this map. Um, so yeah, so let me read the synopsis for this book as well, just in case you don't know or what or what have you. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this book. Um, so it says, let's see. It says book one of the, so it's book one um, of the Between Earth and Sky trilogy, inspired by the civilizations of the pre-Columbian Americas and woven into a tale of celestial prophecies, political intrigue, and forbidden magic which that's all that I love when I read a book oh okay so it says a god will return when the earth and sky converge under the black sun in the holy city of Tova the winter solstice is usually a time for celebration and renewal but this year it, co it coincides with a solar eclipse a rare celestial event prescribed by the sun priest as an unbalancing of the world 
Meanwhile, a ship launches from a distant city bound for Tova and set to arrive on the solstice. The captain of the ship, Zalia, is a disgraced teak whose song can calm the waters around her as easily as if it can warp a man's mind. Her ship carries one passenger, described as harmless. The passenger, Serpio, is a young man, blind, scared, and cloaked in destiny. As Exalia well, well knows, when a man is described as harmless, he usually ends up being a villain. Crafted with, crafted with unforgettable characters, Rebecca Ronhurst's epic adventure, exploring the uh, decadence of power amidst the weight of history and the struggle of individuals swimming against the conf confines of society and their broken past, is the most original series debut of the decade. Wow, yeah, I definitely got to read this now for sure, especially it's a trilogy. So there's two more books that's coming out. Yeah, I got to be, I got to get on this. Um, so who knows this time? Oh, man, I can already see it. April is going to be crazy with the books that I'm thinking about reading. So yeah, so I got this book and I am so excited to read this. Ah! Okay, the next one is also for Amazon, but this is a pre-order. Um, and this is from, let me see. And this is from, um, um, is from um a giveaway excuse me a giveaway from instagram um that the author jl had dead um so i'm super excited to read this book um it even says enjoy your gift from jl right here um so yeah so this book just of course came out and the, it it is sing me um yeah sing me forgotten by jessica s olson and look at the cover. It's beautiful. Even on the blurb, it, on the blurb, it says enchanting, lush, and decadent. And that was said by Adeline Grace, um, author of All the Stars and Teeth. So yeah, just look at this. Like, I am loving this. And then if you take the dust jacket off, it's like a navy with gold foiling. Uh, so let me see what this one is about. I heard some things about it, but not, not like, not like, I would say more, um, description of it. <laughs> I, I guess you could say that. Um, so it says, Isda does not exist, at least not beyond the opulent walls of the opera house. Ooh, opera house. Okay. Phantom of the Opera vibes. Okay. So it says, cast into a well at birth for being one of the magical few who can manipulate memories when people sing. She was saved by Cyril, the, opera's, oh, the opera house's owner. Since that day, he has given her a sanctuary from the murderous world outside. All he asks in return is that she use her power to keep ticket sales high and that she stay out of sight. For if everyone discovers she, discovers she survived, Isda and Cyril would pay with their lives. But Isda breaks Cyril's cardinal rule when she meets um, Americ Rodden, a charming boy who throws her quiet, solitary life out of balance. His voice is unlike any she's ever heard, but the real shock comes when she finds in his memories hints of a way to finally break free of her gilded prison. Haunted by the possibility, Isda spends more and more time with Americ, searching for answers in his music and his past, but the price of freedom is steeper than Isda could ever know. For even as she struggles with her growing feelings for Emmerich, she learns that in order to take charge of her own destiny, she must become the monster the world tried to drown in the first place. Wow, that sounds deep. Yeah, opera. Okay, this is, yep. Good gracious, April. <laughs> and it's right around the corner. Um, but yeah, this book sounds amazing. I'm definitely looking forward to reading it. And even on the back, it says, they think they can keep me here that the darkness will break me. They forget I was raised in the darkness, that I've been imprisoned my whole life. They can threaten me with blade or poison or death, but they cannot make me afraid, not anymore. So yeah, Isda sounds very empowering um, and I need that in my life. So yeah, so I got this book and I cannot wait to read this as well. Uh, let's see, next one here. Uh, I had ordered this, um, I think this is from where is this from from box lunch um yes i do collect uh fungal pops now and then if i do see something that i just really need to get and this was one that i really needed to get because yeah like i love this character so so much um she has changed a lot of things like, i just love the movie altogether. so yeah so here is the box and if you open it it is Princess Tiana and Naveen. This is the Prima Glitter version of it. 
Um, so yeah, I had to get this Funko Pop because of course I love Princess Tiana. Um, she's our first black um, Disney princess, which I really do like I love. So watching Princess and the Frog when it came out, I was just in awe with it. I was just I was crying because I finally got to see me in a movie, uh, you know, so yeah, I had to get it. So yeah, she's with glitter with Prince Naveen as a frog. So yeah, like I said, I collect Funko Pops now and then, not like all the time. I used to do it all the time, but then I was like, I need to slow down because I'm getting too addicted to Funko Pops for some reason. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I had to get Princess Tiana. So I got that um let's see i think i have one more package that i want to share with you all before the announcement and i think i had gotten this this came from um mcmillan um so let's see what's inside of this one right here okay <gasps> okay this is one of my anticipated reads and this is actually from uh, wednesday books Oh my god and yep april you're you're yep april's definitely yep mm -hmm. i'm definitely gonna be reading this and that is <laughs> hurricane summer by asha bronfield it says sometimes the storm is inside of you oh my goodness and this is of course the arc this comes out in may this year so definitely pre go ahead and pre-order it if you like to do so but yeah the i feel like what got me the most was the cover it's beautiful it's enticing i love how it looks like she's she's in she's in the rain and she has that flower it's just stunning so yeah so let me read the synopsis for this one because this sounds this looks amazing um so it says um Tilla has spent her entire life trying to make her father love her, but every six months he leaves their family and returns to his true home, the island of Jamaica. When Tilla's mother tells her she'll be spending the summer on the island, Tilla dreads the idea of seeing him again, but longs to discover what life in Jamaica has always held for him. In an unexpected turn of events, Tilla is forced to face the storm that unravels in her own life as she learns about the dark secrets that lie beyond the veil of paradise all in the midst of an impending hurricane. And it says a powerful coming of age story that deals with col colorism, classism, young love, the father-daughter dynamic, and what it means to discover your own voice in the center of complete destruction. Ooh, that sounds really, really deep. Ooh, my goodness, I'm, yeah, this, yeah, okay. Oh, and then a blurb by, um, from Tiffany D. Jackson, who has written Grown. Um, it says, searingly, um, searingly beautiful, heartfelt, and full of strength. I could not put it down, and even when, and when done, I held it tight to my heart. Asha Bronfield is a storm we've all been waiting for. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm really, really excited to reading this. This some, sounds something straight up my alley. Oh, I'm, I'm just in love. And it says, even Asha Bromfield is an actress, singer, and writer of, of Afro-Jamaican descent. Um, she is known for her role as Melody Jones, drummer of Josie and the Pussycats and CW's Riverdale. Um, she also stars as Zadie Wells in Netflix hit show Lock and Key. Asha is a proud ambassador for the Dove Self-Esteem Project, and she currently lives in Toronto, where she is pursuing a degree in communications. Um... In her spare time, she loves studying astrology, wearing crystals, burning sage, baking baking vegan desserts, and taking walks to the park with her dogs, Luca and Kyra. Hurricane Summer is her debut novel. Oh my gosh. Oh, like I'm really excited to read this. Like like I said, this is one of my anticipated reads of this year. So I definitely got to read it. I, I just got to. I got to. This, there's no question about it. I just, I have to read it. Oh my god. And so yeah, I got this from Wednesday's books. And of course, they got me a little bookmark right here. So I'll be using this as I read it. So April, uh, you got uh, April. <laughs> I'm saying April, because uh, well, that month of April is gonna be crazy. But I'm looking forward to reading all these amazing books. So yeah, so that was the final thing of the final package. And so now, woo, the huge announcement. Um, so I have been doing this for a couple of months and I've only been giving them away or give them to family and friends. Um, I was really, I'm just gonna let you know and be honest, I was really scared and nervous of putting myself out there like that. And I'm saying this even though I'm like on YouTube, so I've already put myself out there, but I feel like this makes me more vulnerable. Um, and what I've been doing for the couple months is making candles. Um, I, I am obsessed with candles. I love candles. I 
Bath and Body Works has taken my money many, 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 many years. Uh, and so I wanted to try to do this venture of my own just to see if I could do it just to, you know, and so I, yeah, I, selling candles um i have pretty much have um i created my own instant instagram account account for the candles alone um so if in the description below you can uh, click on my instagram handle and if you go into my bio the link will be in my bio um and then it'll go to that instagram page i'll also tag um an instagram page to um at least one of my pictures so that way if you don't want to click the link in the bio you will see you know the um the instagram um page uh, on there as i tag it and my little comments on a picture that i'll be putting up on my instagram soon um so yeah so it's rise candle co um rise means um so the r means for radiance i for integrity s for strength and e for empower i did this for me because i feel like as a woman I wanted to do something on my on my own. I wanted to feel empowered. I wanted to feel strength, strength. But I also want to say that women are filled with radiance. We have integrity. We're we are, and that we are strong women on what we go through on a re, on a regular basis. Even as you know, people you know, as women go through a lot with their bodies as well. And I feel like that should be acknowledged. Like us women, us women is a strong, like just. I can't say it enough. We are some strong women and I all power to us because I feel like, you know, what we go through on a regular basis and through our bodies and everything, all the changes that we go through. I have to acknowledge that. I think we are, we, it's, we are the bomb. Women are the bomb. Um, so yeah, so that is what rise stands for radiance, integrity, strength, and power. I also, um, include it in power because I like the idea of us women empowering each other, um, especially on booktube. I feel like as women, um, empowering each other is is a must. You know what I mean? Um, and just supporting each other as much and as much as we can. You know, to just show and acknowledge that we are watching. Um, we do care about your content. You're an amazing person. Just any type of comments or anything like that is just really empowering and I really I really want to thank everybody that has been doing that for me just seeing the comments on my videos and on Instagram is just it makes me feel good about myself you know and I feel like us women deserve that you know in the acknowledgement so thank you all for that um but yeah so <laughs> I am selling candles <laughs> they're um going to be $15 and that, you know, that's it. Um, which more of that information, um, on my Instagram, it'll say, you know, just direct message me, um, into, um, onto the rise. It's called rise candle co on Instagram. Um, and you can just put, you know, direct message me and I'll give you more information about that and everything and so and so. Um, but yeah, so right now I have a few scents. I have blueberry dream, which is amazing. I have strawberry cheesecake um oh lord i have sugar cookie i have pound cake i have chocolate chip um i also will be coming out with some more scents so i'll be having um excuse me black raspberry vanilla um i'll be having lavender uh teak wood a eucalyptus and um cotton fresh cotton smell um so those are some more fragrances that will be coming um soon um they're in tow so yeah i'll be making them um but yeah so the five candles i listed um i have told you before so what i have in stock right now is blueberry dream um i have the uh, strawberry cheesecake i have the chocolate chip cookie or chocolate chip <laughs> chocolate chip cookie whatever i have sugar cookie and i have pound cake and um like i said i've been just giving them to my friends and family and they love them so so much um and they keep asking me for more and they're like we're never going to bath and body works ever again especially <laughs> since we have somebody local <laughs> that sells them so yeah so that is my huge announcement like i said i was really nervous to like put myself out there as far as candles go but i thought i my husband was encouraging me to do this um because he saw the joy of me doing them as i was making my candles and they're it's very peaceful making my candles 
so yeah so those are all my scents and everything and like i said all the link will be in my bio and everything on my instagram page so like my handle and everything will be down in the description below if you do want to check them out um and like i said once you go into the rise candle co the instagram page you just direct message me and we'll go from there um <laughs> but that is it you guys that is the big announcement and all the bookish mail and book mail that i received um but i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching, you guys, and thank you so much for the support. You all, please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya!